Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with another episode! Let's do a sports review. Are there any boxing figures? Did you say unboxing? Boxing! Boxes? Boxing! Mm, 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 mm. Are you deaf and blind? Blind boxes? Now that's a great idea! What? I didn't say that! It's Blind Box Bonanza! Rass Holly, hit the music! <laughs> Blind boxes, if you didn't know, are toys and figures sold in sealed boxes, bags, capsules, or other containers that keep whatever is inside a secret until opening. All sorts of properties have blind boxes, bags, eggs, or other such shit out there, so they're not that hard to find. These are an evolution of the storefront capsule toys in which you'd drop anywhere from 25 cents to a buck to get a toy in a capsule from a displayed selection. The difference is now that these are sold on store shelves and cost 10 to 20 times more than their storefront counterparts and may or may not be as good. It's hard to imagine though who in their right mind would drop good money on these things when they don't even know what they're gonna get. I guess I would, because today we're taking a look at a handful of blind boxes. Since I've already wasted my money, let's not waste any more time and take a look at some blind boxes. Okay, so it's blind box bonanza, but we'll start it off with a blind bag. Masters of the Universe figural bag clip. Uh, so we do know what we're getting, but we don't know exactly what we're getting in this. And we have the uh, the characters pictured on the front of the bag here. We've got uh, Triclops, Hordak, Trapjaw, Man-at-Arms, Mossman, Skeletor, She-Ra, He-Man, and Tila. And around the back here, we have them all named. Then we have an exclusive A, an exclusive B, which looks like uh, Battle Cat and Panthor, if I'm correct. Um, and then we have an, what's, what's interesting here is if you could probably just look it up and uh, look it up by the item number, 76165. So whatever this ends up being, that's what the item number is. Um, and let's not waste any more time and see what we get inside of this bag. All right, so pulling it out of the bag and a big reveal is, oh, it's Moss Man. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Um, I was I was hoping for trap job, but uh, Moss Man not too bad. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, little rubber thing or whatever. I think this is about five bucks. Um, yeah, would I pay five bucks for this? Just sort of if it was in a little, you know, uh, a bubble, and it was like, hey, five dollars for a Moss Man uh, bag clip. No, probably not. But. Now I've got a Moss Man bag clip, and uh, not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah, I, I'd say as far as like worth the money if you're really into Masters of the Universe, you could you could collect these um, if you've got a lot of bags to put clips on. Um, these are kind of cute little characters or whatever. I don't I don't mind this. I'm not mad at this. I like it. Okay, so next up we have uh, Marvel's Spider-Man. Um, this little tin. Um, and, and it's telling you what we get in here, but we don't know exactly what it looks like. Kind of like the same as before. Includes one charm and clip. So we get another clip. Two magnet cards. Um, looking forward to those. Two sticker cards and one collection sheet. What the hell's a collection sheet? Is it basically like, oh, here's what you can get in these goddamn things. But it done, comes in a nice little tin. Um, I think this was also about five bucks. Um, yeah, it says again, uh, this is a, what is this, bullshit toy? A bull sit toy. All right, what a, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty close. You're one, one fucking letter off, folks. Um, but anyway, um, it's got an embossed Spider-Man on the top of the thing. Um, I'm, you know, I'm tired of looking at this thing. Let's get this thing open up and see what's in this eye. As we get the plastic off, you can see that um, we don't have the little label thing on it anymore. So it's just a nice little Spider-Man tin. If you like Spider-Man, not too shabby. Let's uh, open it up. Oh, and we have more packaging with great power. 
comes great responsibility. Um, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. With great power comes great response. Ah, uh, fucking A. Courtesy of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. You get some little bags uh, in there, but the tin, tin's not too shabby. Um, let's go ahead and open up um, one of these little shitty bags here. Um, we get some stickers. Um, that's not too bad. Those are okay. Yeah, I, I, don't, I ain't mad at these. Nice little stickers. I mean, put them wherever the fuck you want. All right, so there you go, some stickers. And then, I don't know what this is. It's kind of hard. Oh, these are the magnets, um, and they're not folded, so at least there's that. Um, these will these will go well on my uh, refrigerator, All right? We got a wall crawler. We got Spider Man kind of doing the he's shooting the web out. You got a Spider Man with the city behind him. Not too bad. I like those. I like those are fine. And then is that it? Oh, there's another thing here. Let's uh. Yeah, this one looks like it's more of a piece of shit. Let's see what this is. I think this is the, like, this is everything you can get in these crap. Um, oh, also, um, if you buy these other, um, shitty tins, um, well, spoilers. <laughs> oh, this is some, oh, you get a little poster, I guess, but it's super folded up. Um, so, yeah, that's trash, thanks. And, uh, finally... Here's our bag clip that we saw, um, and it's broken. Thanks. Um, so a broken bag clip that says protector, and uh, it's got spider mine. It's not bad. Anyway, that's the Spider-Man stuff. All right, and next up we have from Hexbug, Junk Bots. A random two of 36 characters plus one light module included. Step one, unlock, two, search, three, and it's build. So you're, we're building a, a robot, a junk bot, if you will. Um, that's what's the name of the theme, the name of the game. Uh, ages three and up, 30 plus pieces in this fucking construction kit. Wow. Um, this was about 10 bucks. Um, what will you unbox? Uh, Jack Static. One of 36, light module included. Is this, is this what, what I get? Or it's random two out of 36 characters included. So I get two characters, um, a one half scale character of, of <laughs> half scale of what? I don't know! <laughs> Unlock the chain, search through the trash, discover and build your bot. Um, so yeah, there's uh, 36 junk bot characters to collect. Um, I'm very intrigued by this. That's honestly, that's why I bought it in the first place. I bought it before I even had the idea to do a video about it because I thought, hey, these little robots seems kind of cool. Just building the robot out of junk, um, like a fun activity. So uh, let's take a look and see what we get inside this box. Okay, so now that I have the plastic off, we just need to figure out how to unlock the lock. Um, I don't know. I just just break the just break it. What do I do? Um, I can see there's stuff in there. It wants to come out. Get this piece of shit off of here. There we go. Yeah. All right. So yeah, it comes right off. Got, got a nice little little chain. That's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, we've got some uh, got some papers. Oh, all right. So we see what we what we're gonna get. This is uh, Dougie, and uh, then. We have another paper here, and this is uh, uh, Dina, Dina, Dina. Um, okay, and uh, <laughs> oh, there's trash. <laughs> it's half foods. <laughs> wow, it is. It's like a dumpster. There's little trash bags. Actually, dude, this is the <laughs> baby diapers. <laughs> Bubba's diapers. Duty calls. Christ. <laughs> oh, the trash bags and stuff. Oh, there's a broken tennis racket. Um, all right, so we got our pieces in there too, uh, among the among the trash. <laughs> this is actually really fucking cool. I like these a lot. You know what? I'm gonna get more of these. These are rad. All right, let's get out here. Wow, look at all the stuff we've got in here. We've got these uh, 
Mrs. Tex Pizza. We've got uh, um, the little Chinese takeout boxes. Um, these um, trash bags that have extra pieces in them. I'm assuming for our uh, for our builds. And um, yeah, this is really really cool. And then all this like kind of extra junk, I guess, that we're gonna use to build our robots. So what I'm gonna do is um, oh, also before that. Like we have some instructions um, for the light module. Um, guess we'll figure that out here in a moment. We got some safety bullshit, some legal mumbo jumbo. Um, yeah, um, I can't wait to uh, to figure out how this all works. So let's go ahead and get started on this build. I'm gonna build the bots, and then I'll I'll, I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I've got them put together. Um, the first one we have is a Dyna, I guess, the dinosaur. Um, you've got all this stuff, all the little crap that uh, came in the, the non-paper crap that came inside of the dumpster um, you use to make um, these, uh, these monsters or, or bots or whatever you will. Um, they don't fit together super well in some joints or whatever, but because you can switch things out and change them, you have different extra pieces um, that you can kind of customize um, to make it, you know, make it your own. Um, also, there's this uh, little, little little mouse in there as well. So that, that's pretty cool. Um, and then on the other side, we've got, um, what's this guy's name? Dougie, um, who looks a lot like Wally -E a little bit because he's got a camera for a face. Um, and the camera goes, <laughs> you can extend it out. So that's, that's kind of cool. You can zoom um, with the camera. Um, and then the light module um, that it came with, it comes with one and it has these little plastic tubes or whatever that you connect to it. It has a little LED inside. When you turn it on, um, you've got a light up function um, for both of these. You can, you can attach it to both of them, but it only does come with one. So it's kind of cool. Um, it's cool that they light up. I like it a little bit better on this guy because he's got more of kind of electronic thing going on anyway. So to have his, his camera face and his uh, little TV screen down here light up is pretty cool. It would be nice to get one more of these to go with it, but hey, um, you know, collect enough of these things. You can make it mix and match and make your own junk bots um, for 10 bucks or however much this cost. This is awesome. This is an awesome blind box. Um, I would get these any day of the week. Would totally recommend this to anybody. Um, you know, that's a, you know, it's got a, an interest in uh, just some fun little activities, cool little toys and shit like that. Little bizarre um, robots and things. Um, it's it's neat. Like it comes in a little dumpster and it's full of trash. <laughs> that's really really awesome. Um, so junk bots, thumbs up. All right, so a Treasure X marks the spot, Minecraft. Um, if you're not aware, about uh, 10, 11 years ago, a little game called Minecraft uh, was, was it came out, was developed, came out, and uh, swept the nation. It has since sort of... Uh, Took its place in the in the background of things, not as popular as it once was, but you still can find Minecraft crap out there in your travels. And there's, I'm sure there's still people playing it. Um, it was a fun game back in the day. So um, let's take a look at this, what we get here. Uh, mine, discover, and craft. There's multiple steps here. This is very interesting. It says, will you find real gold dipped treasure? No. I, I bet you won't. Um, you got your legal mumbo jumbo choking hazard uh, 12 mine and craft characters to collect. Um, so this is, I guess, the little boxy characters. They look like characters from the game. Makes sense. Um, you have 10 levels of adventure. So I guess 10 steps here. Um, it looks like you're, you're planting seeds and then maybe digging a, a hole. And then um, there's a bunch of crap in a bag maybe uh you get your pieces out um and then you look at the pieces i don't understand what these steps are i'm gonna have to use water for some one of these steps <laughs> but what, what you get at the end is you have a little block and you have a character um so it's 
oh, let's fucking let's open this up. Aqua stick. I I don't know what this aqua stick is. I guess if you if you put water on something, it makes uh, it, it makes something turn colors or or some shit. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna find out though. Let's get this thing open and and see what the hell we get in the box. All right, so first of all, we've got our uh, collect them all. This is all of our uh, different shit we can find. You can also find a gold dipped apple. Um, so, <laughs> wow. All right. Might find some gold in here. Um, I don't think we will. Uh, bonds in five minutes, full strength, 24 hours, aqua stick. Um, I guess you put these things uh, together there's, there's kind of like a, uh, I guess you add water and it makes like a glue or it, it, it has a glue-like effect to stick to these things. Uh, we're going to find out. Um, I guess I'll have to get some water out. Uh, but anyway, uh, so as we go into the box, we have this uh, paper thing. I don't know if I'm supposed to, it's like a bag. You have a bag. Um, it's like uh, on top here. I don't know what that is. Um, there's bits and pieces of this, whatever this crap is, kind of coming off of off the edge of it. But uh, but let's open up this bag and see what's what's inside the bag. Okay. Um, got some hearts. It'd be nice. If we had some fucking directions. Uh, we have a, like a pickaxe. Ah. <laughs> that's kind of fun. Um, and we have this uh, little rubber. I guess we put water in here. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, I, 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 do we, are there directions for the the fucking aqua stick anywhere? I'm gonna look in the in the trash. <laughs> no, no directions whatsoever. Wrong. Um, maybe it wants me to go online. Maybe I don't give a shit. Um, or maybe these pictographs can help us. Uh, n number one, um, you take this stuff out of this bag. Okay, that's that's what we did. We did we did that. Okay. Number two, um, we're gonna lift this off, right? And we can. Uh, oh shit! <laughs> you can break that. All right, it's an activity. I get it. I get it. I'm I'm down. All right. Clear that off. All right. Step three. Um, we got bag, a bag, it looks like, of a uh, bag of crap with some sand in it. And we're supposed to dump that into. God damn it. All right. Whoa. All right. Let's not get sand everywhere. I think it's kinetic sand if I'm. If I'm Oh, oh. Just dump it all in there. Not as easy as it looks in the in the little uh, pictograph, whatever. Uh, we got our our sand, um, and then I mean it's more like it's that kinetic sand stuff. Um, that's fun. Ew, it's like goo. Um, I'm gonna make sure we get get that all gathered together here. Um, and then you kind of take out all of our, our stuff. First, we have a, uh, looks like a toolbox. Got my toolbox here. All right. Uh, got my, um, the, um, it's like a top of somebody's, uh, somebody's dome. It's like a hair, haircut. All right, haircut. Uh, we got, um, got a body. It's like we got Steve. Nice. Not too shabby. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what else? What else? We got a face in there. We got a face in there. Um, and uh, an arm. Another arm in there. Okay. Um, so not too many pieces to this. Um, and it comes with some kinetic sand, um, which I've barely ever played with. Uh, wow. This, if you've never screwed with some kinetic sand, it's difficult to explain how it works, but man, very, very cool. 
<laughs> very, very cool. Um, very cool stuff. So um, I'm going to get this all cleared up and, and see about putting this guy together. All right, so according to the directions, these are our uh, aqua stick glue pieces, I guess. I guess it is, it's glue that's activated by water. Um, so you fill up this little box, the toolbox or whatever, or treasure box, if you will, um, with water, and then you use this uh, squeezy gimmick to suck up water, and uh, you put, you activate the glue um, that, that you use to put the pieces together with, which are little hearts. Um, so uh, let's uh, get crack a lacking on this uh, with the first with the base piece, I guess. This is our uh, our base for Steve here, um, and we put in a uh, one of these little hearts. Um, okay, all right, all right. I think I'm doing this in the right order, right? Um, yeah, you put the little, uh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, you put the, the, the heart in there and uh, and you put some drops of water and so let's give that a try. Let's suck up some, damn, all right. And uh, put a couple drops on there. That's probably good. It's probably good. Um, and then let's put our second piece on of the base, uh, which would be this, right? Okay. You know, it fits together pretty good, probably without it anyway. <laughs> but whatever. Um, next piece that we've got here uh, is <laughs> go put it on the top. All right, I'm just going to get cracking on building this thing. So finally, we end up with uh, a nice little uh, little figurine. Of, and this thing is solid, man. It's very solid, um, kind of heavy, honestly. He has a little sword. That was what was in the in that box um, when I opened it up before I put the water in there. Um, you do end up with a couple extra of these uh, little aqua stick things. Um, I'm not sure. Um, what I'm supposed to do with these things, how I would dispose of them, like why I, they gave me so many um, in the first place. But other than that, um, and, I, and apparently this thing um, bonds in about five minutes and within a day, um, it's gonna be completely stuck together. And um, for a little, what was it, 10 bucks? For 10 bucks, um, quite a cool activity if you're into Minecraft, uh, if your kids into Minecraft or whatever. Um, not the not the worst thing in the world. Um, I would totally be. Uh, I would recommend this. Um, this was like an also a fun little activity. I was expecting um, here with these blind bags and blind boxes that I was going to be shitting on them and that I would not like them. Um, and it, it, it turns out um, I had a good time. This was an awesome. This is an awesome flight box um, that I would totally recommend. So that was Blind Box Bonanza. Well, that's it for Blind Box Bonanza. What did you guys think of this crap? Let us know in the comments down below. I wish I was blind and I didn't have to see all this cheap crap. Anyway, that's all for now. We'll see you next time on the Dan Classic Show. Rass Holly, hit the music!